Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. It is time for our weekly tarot and astrology reading here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon of April the 18th of 2021. As usual, I'm going to go over some Tarot de Marseille trump cards that I drew at random for our upcoming week, and then we're going to look at a little bit of astrology. As always, it will be interesting, so please stay tuned. Okay, in a moment, three Tarot de Marseille trump cards will come onto the screen and cover my face. The cards I drew at random for our upcoming week are the Emperor, the Strength card, and the lovers. Now the emperor is looking towards the left, the direction of the past. He holds a scepter of power. Down below him, facing the left, is a shield with an eagle upon it. This is a very defensive looking card and it looks like he's blocking something, ruling something from the past, perhaps filtering past experiences or just blocking them out entirely. In the meantime, the Lady of Strength is controlling a lion's mouth with her bare hands. Whether it's opening or closing it, she is exercising power over this lion. Perhaps this is things that we may want to say, okay, or things that we want to do. And we're called upon to exercise some caution or control. She's looking very compassionately at the man in the lover's card. Now this poor fellow has two women tugging on him, trying to pull him in different directions, and Cupid's about to say, dude, I'll make it easy. I'll shoot you with the arrow and I'll, I'll make up your mind for you. But she's looking at this with compassion, so there's a need perhaps to filter crosstalk, to filter forces that pull on us in different directions or that vex us to where we're ready to get angry and maybe say or do things that we should not do. So we need to exercise that restraint. And we also, I feel, need to look forwards towards the future rather than trying to do too much with the past other than keeping it from overly influencing us as we make our decisions this week. Okay, now looking at the astrology, we are still in a waxing phase of the moon that goes on for about another week. This is a good time for manifesting for drawing things into our life, attracting those things we want to have, whether it is money, love, health, abundance, whatever it is that we need or want, this is a time to draw it to us. Now, this week is a little challenging with the astrology. We have the moon making squares and oppositions to various planets just about every day of the week. Uh, so I don't have any particular recommendations. Like usually I look for a day where, like say on Thursday, Jupiter ruling Thursday would be a good aspect to the moon to bring in abundance. Well, we don't have those kind of recommendations this week. But what we can say is this, it is a good time to go ahead and draw things to us anyhow. Particularly strong planets right now are the sun. It is in a sign of exaltation in Aries. We have Venus now in a sign that it rules, which is Taurus. And we have Saturn in Aquarius, which in the old astrology, it ruled Aquarius. So these planets are very strong in their powers. Venus being planet of love and creativity. The sun being health, power, and dealing with organizations or authorities. And then we have Saturn, which deals with limitations or responsibilities. So if you need housing, Saturn's good to work with. Venus, of course, is great for love or being creative. And the sun, that conveys a great deal of physical health and also very, again, good for dealing with authority. So there you go. There is your weekly tarot and astrology reading. I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Until I see you next week, many, many blessings.